What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. Master? Paper puts on quite a show, huh? Anyone is one of those Happens to things. See here. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm -hmm. You there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. My baby's been kidnapped. Is there anyone here who can help me? Whoa! Now listen, Mayor. Uh, if the paper is right about the Institute, then there's no way I'm getting involved in anyone else's problems. You're afraid of the Institute? Who are they? What? Never seen their handiwork walking all over the Commonwealth? Those synth things. Machines? Trying to look like people? Ugh. I ain't eager about being replaced by a synth duplicate. I, I having someone who I thought was human suddenly pull out a gun and strike me out. So take your trouble somewhere else. I don't care if you say the Institute's not involved. They might be. Hey, that's enough. So these synths replace people? How? Hell if I know. One day someone's a human, next day they're a synth, and no one can tell the difference. Not until they kill someone for no reason. It was bad enough when the older, robot-looking synths would occasionally grind a town down to a pulp and haul off what was left. University Point was the last loser in that game. Nothing there but synths now. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. Just point me in a direction and I'll be on my way. Fine. I'll, I'll help you out just this once. Head to the alley behind the market and look for the neon signs. Valentine's Detective Agency. And if you're smart, you won't go blabbing that around. 
That place is mud in a lot of people's eyes. I'll be careful. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Just buy something next time, all right? Hey, Mo. Need a swatta with a little more stopping power? Eh, stainless steel nails, my friend. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks Weston, had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? What did you need again? Simple. Go to the old Westing estate and look for a baseball. A baseball card and a baseball mitt with signatures on all of them. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. Mo. These ain't just any old pieces of wood. A, a swatter is a custom piece of hickory. What if they're listening to us right now? What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and, and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And... And the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? Um, what kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers. Big brutes of guys. Uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies. An all-female team with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league. I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers ooh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. Uh, it was a hell of a sport. Hey, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, little Miss Smarty Pants? Well, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? What makes you the expert anyway? I'm a native-born son of Diamond City. That's why. Baseball is in my blood. Now, are you going to answer my question or what? The teams would also beat the spectators to death. Yeah, that's how the term spectator sport got started. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? I've got a few minutes to browse. Handmade, each one. of trade for all Diamond City right here. Need some you? custom hardware? I don't know you. We got a Just free keep your workbench distance. for all your modifications. Why? Skull, because I don't know diamond, you, and I will barrel. not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Why would you think I'm a synth? Why wouldn't I? A synth looks just like a person, with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? 
No, not human at all. I knew it! Get away from my stall, you synth! We don't serve you things here! Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's what we got. Right here. Let's go. <clears throat> hey, you're the, the new company. girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches... Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you got. Everything hand-tooled. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah, <gasps> Mr. Zwicky, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little oh, quiz. Wow. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a nice degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? <sighs> all right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hey! Do you know that radiation is why Brahm ah, have two heads? A new scholar it's true. To join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education. Family. It is important, yes? This thing called love. I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. A child needs all the love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about... Do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I... thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Who can tell you? 
If Henry and Sally had four no. mute foods, do all you outside of our such all funny clothes? Four slices each. How many slices would they have? Sixteen. That's easy. Ah, but what if Henry and Sally have twenty slices, but they only cut each mute fruit four times? How many mute fruits did they start with? Don't move, Simp. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Simp! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Simps in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Officer? I need you to step away, Scabber. Why the glum face? I thought random murder was routine around here. You shut your mouth. We're risking our lives every day to keep assholes like you safe. Now move along. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it. That kind of talk. believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Vadim? Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yakim. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When the outcomes, the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Talk to you want to talk something really dead. Redeem! I forgot you were there, Yaki. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us.
to keep your distance. Why? Are you threatening me? Nah, nothing like that. It's just, well, I think I ate a bad can of meat. <sighs> okay. Maybe it was three cans. Seemed pretty tasty at first, but now it's got my guts all in a twist. And, well, you can probably smell it from there. Long neck Lukowski's canned meat my ass. Long neck Lukowski's canned poison more like it. Here, have the rest of it. I'm never touching the stuff again as long as I live. Assuming I live through the day. Ugh. And if you happen to see that Lukowski, tell him I hope he dies in a goddamn fire. Ugh. God, sorry. Probably better if you get going. If it's anything like last time, it's about to get kind of messy. should take care of you. Just make sure to keep an eye on her. And come see me if it doesn't get any better in a few days. Thanks, Doc. You're a lifesaver. Goodbye.